right, got a few miles in, now time for a core workout. All right, let's see what's on TV while I'm working out. Hey buddy, what's going on? I'm ready for you to tell me about those core exercises that you mentioned during our last workout. Good timing. I was wondering when it would magically appear on my screen again. I've been doing those lower and upper body exercises that you showed me, and I'm feeling pretty good. But this time, I'm ready to show you a thing or two about how to get that core work done. All right, what do you have in mind? Today we'll do some planks, V-ups, bicycles, and bridges. Sounds good. Show me what you got. All right, one of my favorite core exercises is the plank. Like other core exercises, planks are great for strengthening your body's midsection and helping you gain stability, balance, and power for your runs. Let's start out with a basic plank, balancing on our elbows and our feet. We wanna keep our ankles, hips, shoulders, and head in as straight a line as possible. All right, I'm with you so far. We can also plank while facing the ceiling with our elbows and heels on the ground like this. And you can plank on your side like this. Just remember with any planking position, try and keep that straight line between your heels, hips, shoulders, and head. You can plank for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. As long as you can maintain that form and keep that straight line throughout your body, keep at it. Sounds good. Now if you want to pick these planks up a notch, try lifting each leg off the ground 10 times. Okay, this is definitely kicking things up a notch. Yeah, it definitely does. But on the flip side, if you need to make it a bit easier, you can try planking on your hands and toes, just like this. All right, what else do you got for me? This next one is a bit tougher than planks. They're called V-ups, and they're tough because they require you to coordinate your arms, hips, and legs, all while engaging your core. Well, how do you do them? Lie on your back with your arms stretched out overhead. Lift your shoulders and your legs simultaneously. Reach toward your shins or your toes at the top of the movement. Then return back to the starting position. You wanna engage your abs and refrain from arching your back. Try to maintain controlled movements throughout this exercise. Man, that was a good one. Would you say 10 to 15 repetitions is a good place to start with this exercise? Sure, that's a good place to start. As long as you can maintain good form throughout each rep. Got it. Next, we're gonna go on a bike ride. But I don't have a bike. Not literally. I'll show you. Lie flat on your back with one leg at a 90 degree angle and the opposite leg about two or three inches off the floor. You can keep your arms and hands flat on the floor. Hold this position for around two to three seconds, then switch. Make sure your back does not press down on the floor or begin to arch upward. Whew, that was another good one. And just like you said with the V-ups, you gotta keep your movement slow and controlled during the entire exercise. Right. For our last exercise, let's do some bridges. Start by lying on your back with your feet flat on the floor. Then lift your hips to create a straight line between your shoulders, hips, and knees. Try doing these for about 10 to 15 times. Now if you want to make this one a bit more challenging, try extending one leg straight for about two or three seconds each time you reach the top of the bridge. Again, controlled movements are really key for this exercise. Okay. I see you really do know a thing or two about core exercises, but next time I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. 